Brandon, what were the deciding factors in going with Kramer Saturday as opposed to one of your long guys? Well, it's, it's going to be a, on three days rest, and he only threw 54 pitches, I think. So um, we feel confident that that he's going to be fine for it. He wants to pitch that on that Saturday. You know, 54 pitches is almost like an extended bullpen. So um, he'll be – he's plenty rested and, and we're ready to go. Rich, go ahead. Hey, uh, Brandon. Everybody keeps saying uh, – that it's early, that it's still early. The offense will pick up. When does it stop? When does it stop being early? At what point? At what point do you? You know, is a is it a fair time to to judge a team? I, I do think it's still early. I think a lot of teams. You see, there's a lot of teams that are expected to score more that aren't right now. Uh, I know. I believe in our offense. I think the you look at our numbers and they're. Um, Six months from now, they're, they're not going to look like that. I really think that we have some good hitters on this team. I think that we've gotten off to a little bit of a slow start offensively. First three series, I thought we faced really, really good pitching. Dunn was very, very good yesterday at the end of that second game. Um, so I, it's just been a little bit of a challenge. I think uh, I do buy into the hitting is contagious. There is momentum in hitting. Uh, when you create traffic on the bases, you're creating longer pitch counts for pitchers, et cetera. I think that they're, that uh, it does make it easier for everybody else. And I we're just a little bit of a team rut right now offensively. And I feel like we get a couple guys going, uh, then we're going to be in good shape. But, I, you know, Santander, Mancini, Ryan Mountcastle, I believe in these guys offensively. Uh, I think they're going to produce a lot of runs for us this year. Nathan, go ahead. Brandon, kind of going off that, given how well you guys played on your first road trip and then struggled at home, do you think going on the road again can can jump you up in any way? I don't think I don't I, I don't think so. I think I think we just need to hit, play well, whether whether it's home or away. Uh, I think we need to score some runs, and that would be a that would be a huge help for our, not only. Uh, our offense, but our, our pitchers as well to take a little bit of pressure off. I think a nice offensive series or a nice offensive stretch would would be uh, helpful, whether that's on the road or at home. Stan, go ahead. Brandon, I've got two real quick questions. I hope you'll answer uh, answer them both. One was the, the situation with uh, Austin Hayes, when he'll be back. And then I had a question real quick about uh, Matt Harvey. Yeah, Austin is... He played yesterday, is playing today. We are hoping uh, sometime late weekend, early next week. My question about Harvey is not to argue with you, but I watched the game yesterday and I didn't get a chance to talk to you about it afterwards. He looked positively electric to me for two innings. But by the third and the fourth inning, I thought his stuff really, it changed. It wasn't electric anymore. Do you really feel confident that he can get back to being sort of what he was, 80% of what he was at his prime? 80%? But <laughs> I'm just going to say that I saw Matt Harvey when he threw 100 miles an hour with, yeah. with a 91-mile-an-hour slider. Is he going to get back to that? I, I would probably say no. No, but I mean, you think he can still be a more than useful starter Absolutely. I do. I do think that. And when he's throwing, you know, he was throwing 96, the first couple innings, it might've dropped down to 92 to 94 there, the last couple innings. Um, but I, what I like about Matt is that one, he's un incredibly competitive. Two is that he can pitch. So he's got uh, a slider. He's got a change up. You saw some two seamers at 96, the first couple innings that had huge sinks. So the two seamer is relatively new. Um, and so he's still morphing, even though he's later in his career right now, he is still making adjustments. And I just think it's time with Matt. Um, I believe in the, in the character. I think that, the, you know, if you look at his outing yesterday, you know, we dropped the ball at second, but, you know, arguably should have been an error. A, a ground ball base hit that goes to the right side. 
that, you know, was a 50-50 play and then a two-run homer. That was that was all he did. That's all he gave up in four two-thirds. So I think that was pretty impressive. It could have easily been a two-nothing game going into the sixth inning there. So I, th I, I do think he's on the right track. Time for a couple more. Rock, go ahead. Brandon, do you have your taxi squad roster handy? Right here. Austin Wins, Richie Martin, Isaac Matson, Eusneel Diaz, Cole Solson. Rich, go ahead. Brandon, I was going to ask you something else, but I didn't. I didn't understand about Hayes. Do you mean when you said early next week? You mean Tuesday, or you mean the Tuesday or Wednesday? series in Miami or next or next weekend no no no. in a few days okay yeah sorry for being confusing no he's playing today he's playing tomorrow we're going to see how he um recovers we have that off day Monday to play with also so either Sunday or we wait one more day after the off day and, you, and uh hopefully on Tuesday I'm in Miami Last question, Nathan, go ahead. Just a quick follow up on Austin. Is, is he a guy who you feel like is, would have really helped with this last stretch with what you guys have dealt with offensively? Yeah, I mean, I think Austin's a good player. So, and he was, he was playing really well in Boston. So uh, we're looking forward to getting him back here and getting him playing. He, he adds, you know, he adds a lot. He adds speed, he adds outfield defense, he adds the ability to hit the ball out of the ballpark. A uh, guy that can really get on a fastball. So yeah, just got to try to keep him healthy and, and um, he's going to be a contributor for us.